Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Salim Najimi B. Ahmad Tamizi DA200112 So now we will explain about our assignment For the first question So for this, this uh, question Compute the multiple integrals of This triple integrals So now for this simulation I just uh, put this uh, equation Into our simulation So now we will get 203 per 120 so this is exactly as uh, I calculate manually for the first question so for the second question is a double integral so double integral here so the final answer is 76 per 3 exactly as uh, manual calculate so the first for the second question b evaluate the following three pair integrals by using spherical coordinates so this is a uh, polar coordinates and this is the formula how to uh, change polar into uh, spherical coordinates so after we change all the sp uh, into the spherical coordinates we will get this equation in in spherical coordinate so the equation is this so we will integrate all of them so the final answer of this question is here and exactly as I calculated here so now for the third question so this is a uh, uh, double integrals so uh, it just given the coordinates that is uh, 1 and 4 so we just uh, justify in this graph so we will get this range for each uh, integrate so we will get this equation so for the calculation we will get Fifteen pi per eight. So exactly as I calculated manually, fifteen per pi, fifteen pi per eight. So last question. We want to calculate the area regions and close by the coordinates that have been given. So the range, or uh, automatically we put the information into our range integrate. So this is the uh, equation. So we will get. we will get uh, square root 2 minus 1 so in this manual also square root 2 minus 1 Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Imran and I will uh, explain about the question to assignment and move to question to be mine we have to find the derivative for x, y, z by the given function which is x to the power of 2 y over z to the power of 3 so, for uh, differentiation of x, we put the, um, the function, then we write, and we got this as the answer. I then we change to y, and we got um, this as the answer, and then we also change to z, and we got uh, this as the answer. Next, we move to 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 the two right? Given the function in exponent by uh, z cos x y. So for exponent by z cos x y, we find the differentiation for x y and z. We first put x, and we've got this is the answer. Uh, then we move to y, and we've got this is the answer. Then we move to z, and we've got this as the answer. Next we move to question um, b. We have to find the, uh, the z over du and the z over db for the given uh, function. So first we will find the d over du for the given function. As the, uh, we have got uh, this is the answer. Then we will change it to v. And we have got this as the answer. 
Next, we move to question C. For question C, we have to find the we have to show that the to power of two z over the x to the power of two plus the to power of two z over the y to the power of two equal to zero. So first, we have to find the to power of two z over the x to the power of two. For that, we have uh, this is the function. We find the the function set of x first, and we've got this is the answer. Then we change to y. And we've got this as the answer. Then, for the answer that we found, uh, we add the we have to do the addition, and after the addition, we have uh, the answer as zero. So, at the given function set to five, the Laplace equation of this. Then we move to question two D one Roman. For for two D one Roman, we take the uh, left hand side equation and put it inside here. And we've got this as the answer. Then for the uh, right hand side question, um, this is the right hand side question, and we've got this as the answer. After we've got uh, the answer for that, uh, we have to uh, move the, we have to find the result over the x, so we have to move the function on the, the equation on the uh, left hand side to right hand side, and that's how we got the definition for the z over the x. Then we move to question 22 Roman. Uh, first, we take the d over the x to x to the power of 2, z to the power of 4. And uh, we are right. And we got 4 z to the power of 4. We have 4 at z to the power of 4. And then for uh, long, for the derivative of 5 long, it's z to the power of 2. And we've got 5, 5 over x as the answer. We will get 5x as the answer. And for the derivative integration from 4z, we've got 4. Then we, uh, after that, we have to um, expand. Expand 5y over x, y, z to the power of 2. We, we multiply by x uh, to z. And that's how we got 10 over z. Uh, and for the x to the power of 2, z to the power of 3. From up here, we multiply 2 by 2 x to the power of 2 for z to the power of 3. We've got uh, 8x to the power of 2, z to the power of 3. And then from the 4, we move to the uh, left hand side, we've got uh, minus 4. And 5 over x minus 4x to the power of 4. We, from here, from the left hand side, we move to the right hand side. And then to, uh, to make the denominator the same, uh, we multiply the denominator to z on the left hand side and multiply the we multiply the uh, right hand side to x, and that's how we get uh, this equation of this. Then to find the uh, z over the x, we move the right hand side equation to uh, we move the left hand side equation to um, right hand side equation, and that's how we get z over the x. That's all for question two. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mawad Abdularis, and I will present about question three. So this is question 3a so this is the equation and this is the matrix for the for the triangle matrix which f so this is the the output for the matrix so let's go with so this the okay, okay so this answer and so A which is a coordinate I, uh, B is coordinate J, and C is coordinate K. Okay, we got it. So coordinate I, that is coordinate j and lastly is for coordinate k okay so we summarize we summarize all coordinate i j k so we get the this is question so the cos x and cos y we we substitute which uh, cos x y z because the 
if the core xyz we cannot differentiate because the the simulation don't want to simulate it cannot simulate so this is so kita simplify for xyz so 0 and and the final answer is 0 Okay, this is for question 3b and the x, the is y. So we just put it into the equation and we get this. And this is r and when the, we differentiate by dt, so we get this answer. And this is for f multiply with the r. So this is the answer for that. And i is equal to x coordinate and j is equal to y coordinate. So when we differentiate this two we get the pi we get the answer is pi over three divided by four so this is for check if the f is conservative of not so we we do the matrix and this is the equation for matrix and the equal then the f is zero so the f is conservative field so that's it okay wait this is the question 3c this is the equation and we when, when differentiate x we get this answer and when we differentiate y we get this answer so we put in the formula which is we get this answer so because the simulation cannot solve the equation so we just solve manually which is the this is equal to 1 so we get the answer is 1 so uh, we got 1 plus 1 is the this answer so what is R sin theta? Uh, because they have no theta in the simulation, so we just put it the, like theta lah. So we get this and this z equal to R. So when we do the simulation, when we do the simulation and we get this answer. So this is answer for the question 3C. 3D calculator for the online. Uh, first, we need to uh, we need to input a function. Uh, first, we need to see what function we need to do a uh, graph. First, uh, is x the power of two plus y the power of two equal four. X of 2 plus plus y the power of 2 equal 4 after that uh, the function is z equal to 4 and z equal to 0 z equal to 4 z equal to 0 ok after uh, last uh, function is uh, uh, z equal to square root x to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 2 square root x to the power of 2 plus y the power of 2 this is a, uh, a sketch of the graph for question B uh, question 4 B once Roman so for the question 4 so to B2 is to find to do the divisions or to find the division so uh, we have uh, defined uh, like this and be like this and we have to do the differentiate on the equation and we will get the x plus 1. So for the B3, B3 Roman, we do the equation theorem. I have to divide by 2 and for the first uh, first equation and second equation. The equation is also same. The difference is just the value of k. This is the 1k. Is the, this is the negative 1. 
So uh, after that, uh, the the value of z is also different. Uh, for the first one, is the z equal to four, and the second one is z equal to zero. So we uh, we just uh, define uh, like this: z one equal to four, z two equal to zero, and just put it here, and we we get the get the answer instantly. Like this. This is the answer. But the first one is number uh, 16 pi and the second one is zero. So uh, we have to um, sub, we have to uh, plus these two for the first one and second one. We just write it like, like this and we will get the true the answer, which is the 16 pi. The 3D calculator. First we need to, need, uh, we need to find a function Okay, the function is uh, x plus y plus z equal 1. After we find the function, we need to draw and sketch the function x plus y plus y plus z equal to 1. Like this, uh, the sketch a graph for the simulation that one is the C2 for the C2 is a stock theorem so uh, we have to differentiate all of this Most, uh, just like this, you have to differentiate it. It's, uh, it seems uh, simple. Like this. So we will get the value for the Rx and the Ry. After that, we do the metric in here. We do the metric uh, and to also find the i, the value of i, the value of j, and the value of k. So we just do it. And finally, we will get the answer for the i is the z. And for the j is the zero, and the for the k is the three y minus two y. Uh, lastly, we have to uh, write it in the one line, so we have have to write like this. And lastly, we will get the y k hat plus the z i k hat. And the second one, we have to do the also the matrix, uh, also the matrix from the value here. So we just. Uh, Press the button uh, like before, and then we will get the answer instantly for the i, for the j, and the, for the k. So the, all of this uh, we have to write it in a one line, and after that we will get the k plus j and plus i. And the last one uh, from the two equation, from the two equation uh, above, we have to multiply it uh, by uh, follow their, their words for the i, for the j, and for the k. So we will get the answer. And then we have to uh, integrate it, z plus y, but we have to change it to one minus x because we have to change it to one minus x. So we just put it like, it, like, like this. And then we will get, the truly answer which is which is is the one over three